Ventura, Chris's girlfriend. Um, I'm an artist. I like, I do just traditional art, like uh, paper and pencils or, or charcoal or, or anything like that I can do. I also do digital art. Not on a computer though, I do it on a tablet. And with the stylus. I like the stylus. So we can make our artistness with it. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm here because I'm helping Chris. He doesn't have Wi Fi, so I'm gonna be helping him with his videos and to upload them and stuff like that. Thanks, Katara. So, hi everybody. Chris Bernanski here, you already know that. Um, so, kind of a strange situation going on here right now, huh? Transitions, my girlfriend giving me intro. Yeah, it's kind of strange, I'll admit it. But right now we're kind of in a weird situation over here where the internet is not up. All I can do is record and send her the files. Because I cannot use browsers, but I can still use my applications. That use internet connectivity. Anybody else want to tell me how fucked up that situation is? Where I can't access Google, but I can still use Spotify. Where I can't go to YouTube, but I can still use Skype. I don't get it, do you? I don't think so. Thank you. Anyways, so just to kind of satiate you guys, I haven't put up a video in forever. And, quite frankly, putting up the Ark of Night videos might be too much for her router to handle right now. Katara, that is. Um, so, we're just doing this little thing. So, I want to talk to you guys for a minute about infomercials on kids' networks. Okay? I'm talking about, like, uh, uh, Teen Nick and, like, channels like that. Being over here, I, I see these channels all the time. But you know what I see the most of on Teen Nick? I see infomercials for kids toys, coloring books, all this shit that I'm like, why would you ever spend money on this bullshit? It is obviously bullshit. I mean, they have these coloring books, it's like, oh no, I went outside the line and the kid looks like he's fucking pissed off like shit. Like he's like been spending the past 25 years trying to get this picture right, like, if I go outside the line even once, everyone I know will die. And then he goes outside the line and he's like, hmm. I'm like, I fucked up. No kid has ever done that. I, whether I was a kid, I had a coloring book and I went outside the line and I was like, hand me a pencil, somebody. I'm fixing to make some, some, something new here. Boom, he's got a tail. That's how it worked. And, and they're, pro and the freaking thing for this is like, you can use a magic pen to make it go away. It's not fucking magic. It's obvious. Oh, God. And then they've got these things that you kick around on the floor. It's like, holy shit, what the hell was that? They're like discs, but they have balls on top of them. So it's like, a ball? That's safe to kick in the house. What's the fun in that? The point of kicking a ball around the house is the excitement of like, ooh, I might break something. I don't know if that's just me, but hey. Other than that, though... There was one other one that, that really stuck out to me, and that was the basketball hoop clothes hamper. And I will admit that that is a good idea. That is a great idea. Are you kidding me? If I was a kid and I was sitting there in my room, and I was doing nothing, and I just saw a dirty shirt on the floor in that hoop, I'd be like... I'm Michael Jordan, bitch. That's another thing. Michael Jordan was a big thing back in the day. But anyways, that's all I have time for. Um, gonna go back over to Katura. She's gonna wrap up this video for you guys. Please enjoy her beautiful face, but don't enjoy it too much. It is mine. You don't touch. You don't. You don't touch. Okay. Bye. That's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.